Hello, how are you doing? I hope you're all doing fine. It's a pleasure to participate in this event and to be able to talk to you about the good practices developed here in our hospital, in our country. My name is Shirley, I am a nurse, and I work in the University Hospital Julia Miller here in Mato Grosso, Brazil. Well, I will present here something that was developed in 2017 using quality tools applied to the checking of the emergency car. It's about a mixed method research. In hospitals, the checking and, and maintenance of the emergency car is a recurring problem in emergency care. This is relevant to the nursing team because among the professionals of this class, including those who work in intensive care unit, most of them are recognized as responsible for the checking and management of the emergency car. With regard to the role of the nurse, a re recent welfare protocol mentions him as responsible for organizing the emergency car, assigning to this professional the following activities. Elaborate the scale of service for cleaning, perform the functional testing of laryngoscope and defibrillator, checking the seals of the emergency car, monitor the presence, quantity, and validity of materials on checking from, and replace the drugs and materials that were used. Low adherence to the emergency car's daily checking routine may have negative repercussions on the quality of healthcare, such as, for example, the commitment to cardiopulmonary arrest care to the patient due to the absence or and or in the efficacy of materials and medications. This study is justified because it allows us to understand the problem related to the adherence to the emergency car checking practice through quality tools, which is relevant and innovative since such tools enable concrete improvements applicable to the reality of health work. Therefore, the systematic use of the quality tools disclosed in research can be linked to the translation of scientific knowledge into practice, in this case, especially practice management. The scenario explained culminated in the following qu questions. What are the causes for not attending the emergency car checking in a neonatal intensive care unit? What is the effect of the application of the quality tools on the rate of adherence to this checking? The objective is to verify the causes of the not checking of the emergency car and the effect on the adherence rate by using quality tools in a neonatal intensive care unit. The study was carried out at a public university hospital located in the state of Mato Grosso, Brazil. Between November 2017 and February 2018, the hospital has 118 beds and six operating rooms, besides outpatient care for more than 30 medical specialties, totally linked to the unified health system. The research took place at the neonatal intensive care unit of the referred hospital, which has 10 beds and had 15 nurses. The unit was intentionally chosen due to the high need of using the emergency car in relation to other hospitalization units, in which the patients have greater clinical stability. The unit has two emergency cars. The hospital has 17 units with emergency cars, all equipped and standardized as to their internal organization with the following characteristics. 
first drawer for medication, second drawer for venous access material, third drawer for airway material, fourth drawer for parenteral solutions. All drawers must remain sealed. In addition, the cars have external materials, top tray defibrillator, laryngoscope and blades, oxygen cylinder and manual resuscitator. The daily checking by the nurse concerns the external materials and seals of the drawers and is standardized in the institution. For participation in the studies, only NICU nurses who worked the direct care of the patient were included, excluding those who were absent from work for any reason and who exclusively performed managerial activities. Of the 15 professionals in the unit, 14 agreed to participate in the signed the, and it's inside the free and informed consent team. Well, it's about a method, a mixed method research of sequential exploratory design developed with nurses and a documentary source in the neonatal intensive care unit of a university hospital in three stages. First stage brainstorming to survey the cases of not checking and building a checklist. Second stage, data collection, analysis by applying the Pareto checklist and diagram. And third stage, documentary analysis. The key square test was used to verify the effect of using quality tools in the adherence to checking. Results. In the first stage of the study, qualitative, through brainstorming, 13 self-reported causes were identified by nurses for the not checking of the emergency car. Of these, eight were classified as avoidable causes and five as non-preventable causes, as presented in chart one. Well, the causes, the self-defined causes are a company newly admitted professional defined as developed integration of new professionals on the sector routine. Second cause, absence of training in the emergency car check-in process defined as recently admitted professional with difficulty in handling the defibrillator. Third cause, discontinuity in the emergency car check-in routine, defined as absence of registration of previous duty and receipt of duty with the emergency car open. The fourth cause, failure in the scale of work, defined as failure of the professional during the elaboration of the scale, causing defalcation in the team. Fifth cause, lack of habit, defined as forgetting the professional to hold the daily emergency car, car checking right after receiving the duty. Prioritize administrative activities defined as failure to plan materials for daily consumption leads to the need for displacement of the nurse. Seventh cause, prioritize nursing care activities defined as perform activities such as newborn baths, venipuncture, dressings, and analysis of medical records, among others. Eighth cause, carrying out patient care division, defined as distribution of patients among professionals at the beginning of the shift. The non-avoidable cases are classified as ined inadequacy of nursing staff, defined as insufficient number of professionals in the sector, the lack of drugs and materials, defined as absence of med medication and or materials in the hospital, the intercurrence with the patient, defined as the need to attend urgencies and or emergencies, Administrative intercurrences with team defined as last minute notice or medical certificate delivery, professional who arrives late for duty. And the last cause is overcrowding. 
to find a number of patients hospitalized greater than the number of vacancies offered by the unit. And the second stage of the study, with the in loco application of the checklist, built based on first stage, therefore connected, in the month of February of 2018, it was possible to verify that there were 72 occurrences of not checking of the emergency car. Of its total, 63 were from preventable causes and 9 from non-preventable causes. Considering that the non-preventable causes were outside the governability of the NICU nurses, we sought to analyze the data of the preventable causes in order to obtain a better understanding of their occurrences and how they contributed to the not checking of the emergency car. Thus, occurrences of preventable causes were listed in descending order, distributed in absolute frequency, relative frequency in percentage, and cumulative relative frequency in percentage, as shown. After gathering the numbers of the frequency of occurrence of preventable causes still in the second stage of the study, a Pareto diagram was created to bring forth the causes that contributed in a cumulative form to approximately 80% of the occurrences of negligence to check the emergency card daily. Figure 1 shows the Pareto diagram with the avoidable causes of negligence to check the emergency car. Here we can focus on the four main causes of negligence to check the emergency car. Here they are, lack of habit, prioritize care activities, carrying out patient care division, and prioritize administrative activities. In regard to the lack of habit, forgetfulness, points to the lack of habit and the prioritization of care activities. It relates to the aspects that may have to do with the organization culture of the nurse's work. This culture is linked to the informal element of these organizations and in relation to identified causes. It can be said that they are part of a series of shared meanings by the workers in this unit. The daily check process of the emergency car is made of aspects of good practices aimed at the improvement and organization of the work process. But it needs commitment from the crew and the creation of, of new organization value. These values can be considered formative aspects in the base of the organization and of positive changes in the daily behavior of the crew. Now for the second stage, T table 2 shows the monthly frequencies of adherence and non-adherence to the daily document, documented checking of the emergency car in the studied environment, as well as the value of the key square for comparison. The results presented on Table 2 allows us to conclude that there was an improvement in the adhesion rate after applying the checklist, going from 75.3% in January to 97.4% in February, when the quality tool was put to use. It can be noted that in the following months, the adhesion rates diminished, going from 95.1% to 92.2% to 86.2% in March, April and May. 
That shows us that the presence of the in loco verification was the determining factor for a better compliance with the checking of the emergency card. Nonetheless, according to the Qui Square test, we can see that the application of the quality tools interfered positively and in a meaningful way among the researched months. It is considered important that the institution use tools that are bring the bring value to the performance of the professionals and to the given goal tools that can be employed in a natural form in the work environment the daily emergency car pro checking process is a good practice aspect and aimed at improving and organizing the work process but it requires commitment from the professionals involved and building new organization values. Not less important is a more global way than not checking of the emergency card denotes the valuation of positive culture to the patient's safety, because this is a product of individual and collective attitudes of aspects that involve unsafe care. It is worth mentioning that other studies on adherence to safe practices point out forgetfulness and the lack of habit as causes of low adherence of professionals, which occurs both in the workers and patients' safety measures, referring to the association with cultural elements imbricated in the process. The quality tools adopted were appropriate and sufficient to identify the causes that interfere with the carrying out of the emergency card checking. Brainstorming allowed the creation of a space for ideas and discussion among the participants and made it possible to survey the causes that interfere in this process, until then unknown being configured as a technique that can be used to subsidize the use of other tools. The checklist facilitated the organization of data collection and made it possible to quantify the occurrence of causes of non-adherence, leading to an immediate interpretation of the situation, which was clarified by the Pareto diagram. In other words, the set of quality tools was useful and consistent with a common purpose, ratifying its management role focused on improvement. Through the mixed research approach and the totality of data density that, that even with a quantitative preponderance were interdependent, it is believed that the study reinforces that issues that demand managerial intervention in the work process are strengthened when the active participation of the subjects are involved. In other words, although the quality management it is fundamental to measure aspects inherent to the work so that improvements are planned and implemented, when considering the uniqueness of the subjects, it is believed that this process can become both more humanized and more effective. It is concluded that the use of quality tools was feasible for the verification of the causes of not checking of the emergency car and interfered positively in the improvement of its adherence. Moreover, the study allowed to identify the main causes of not checking of the emergency car, which are lack of habit, prioritize care activities, carry out division of care of patients, and prioritize administrative activities. activities. I, uh, I appreciate your time and uh, I'm done. And thank you very much. Appreciate you participating in this event. Thank you.